How can you use patterns to multiply by 2 and 5? How many socks are in 7 pairs of socks? Find 7 times 2. You can use doubling to find the number of socks in 7 pairs. Because there are 2 socks in each pair of socks, this can be thought of as 2 groups of 7 socks. 7 plus 7 equals 14. Another way to solve the problem is to skip count by twos. 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14. You can also use patterns to find the number of socks in seven pairs. One pair of socks has one times two, or two socks. Two pairs of socks have two times two, or four socks. Three pairs of socks have three times two, or six socks. Seven pairs of socks have seven times two, or 14 socks. There are 14 socks in seven pairs. How many fingers are on seven gloves? Find seven times five. Which number shows the number of fingers on each glove? Select your answer. The 7 stands for the number of gloves. The 5 stands for the number of fingers on each glove. You can use skip counting to find the number of fingers on 7 gloves. 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35. You can also use patterns to find the number of fingers on 7 gloves. 1 times 5 equals 5. 2 times 5 equals 10. 3 times 5 equals 15. 7 times 5 equals 35. There are 35 fingers on 7 gloves. Have you ever noticed all the patterns you can find in numbers? Today, we're going to look at patterns with 2s and 5s to see how we can use them in multiplication. Carlos is here to help us out. Hey there! Let's look at all the multiples of 2 to try and find some patterns. Do you know what a multiple is? Hmm, well it sounds like multiplication. Right, a multiple is a product of a number with other numbers. So, if we are looking for multiples of 2, we are looking for the product of 2 times other numbers. 2 times 0 is 0, because anything times 0 is 0. Great remembering. 2 times 1 is going to be 2, 2 times 2 is 4, 2 times 3 is 6, 2 times 4 equals 8. I think I see a pattern. All the multiples of 2 are even. What a find! All of the multiples of 2 are even, which means they end in what numbers? 0, 2, 4, 6, or 8. You got it! Besides being even, think about what multiplying by 2 means. It means you have two equal groups. Does that remind you of anything? Doubles! Exactly! Multiples of 2 are all doubles. So, what would 2 times 8 be? I know my doubles! 2 times 8 is just like 8 plus 8. So, 16. It's an even number because it ends in 6. Now that you know your multiples of 2, let's try multiples of 5. Just like with our 2's, 5 times 0 equals 0. Great start! Since we know multiples of 5 will use groups of 5, let's represent it in a diagram. One group of 5, or 1 times 5, equals 5. Two groups of 5, or 2 times 5, equals 10. 3 times 5 equals 15. 4 times 5 equals 20. Notice anything interesting? All the products end in 0 or 5. The 1's place goes back and forth between 0 and 5. Exactly! 
Finding the multiples of 5 is like counting by 5s. All of the products end in 0 and 5. So, what would 7 times 5 be? I'll count up. 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35. The product is 35 because we have 7 groups of 5. You did great today. You saw how we can use the patterns in numbers to help us with multiplication. Carlos helped us see that multiples of 2 are always even and that multiples of 5 always end in 0 or 5. It's a handy tool for when you're doing quick multiplication. Did someone say quick? See you next time!